Hello and thanks for joining us. This is the Galari TV News update at 12. I'm LNG Chidema. On the major news headlines, NDLEA bus cocaine warehouse in Lagos seeks 193 billion naira worth of cracks. Asun dismisses Vastis resumption order, says strike on Shikebo. It's London news headline, federal government, uh, federal government may ban for more to revive leather industry. And on the news in details, NDLEA boss cocaine warehouse in Lagos, 693 billion naira worth of cracks. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency have busted a cocaine warehouse in Lagos State, seizing 193 billion naira worth of cracks. NDLEA spokesman Femi Baba Femi described the development as one of the biggest singular cocaine seizure in the agency's history. He said the official busted the warehouse in a scheduled estate in the Korodu area of Lagos, where 1.8 tons, 1,855 kilograms of the illicit drugs worth more than 278 million, 255 thousand dollars, were equivalent to 194 billion, 775 million naira in street value was seized. At least four drug barons, including a Jamaican and the warehouse manager, has been arrested in the well-coordinated and intelligence-led operation that lasted two days across different locations in Lagos State. Baba Femi said in a statement kicking off the cocaine cartel in custody includes Mercy Osoji, Jibril, 69, an indigenous of Ibalon, Oyo State, Emmanuel Chiku, 65, who hailed from Ikulobi, Anambra State, Wasiyu Akinade, 53 from Ibadan on your state. Sunday Ogun Tulere, 53 from Okiti Boba on the state. And Kelvin Smith, 43, a native of Kingston, Jamaica. They are all members of an international drug law syndicate that the agency has been trailing since 2018. The way have located at number 6 Olu Kolu Christian Solebo, a state Korodu, was raided on Sunday. And the barons were arrested in their hideouts in different parts of Lagos, the agency said. Plenary investigation revealed that Class A drug were warehouses were housed in the residential estates from where the cartels were trying to sell them to buyers in Europe, Asia, and other parts of the world. The spokesman noted that they were sto stored in 10 travel bags and 13 drums. The feat, which was achieved after extensive investigation with American Drug Law Enforcement, Administration drew recommendation from the NDLA Chairman, Chief Executive Brigade General Mohamed Buba Mawa. Asu dismisses vast resumption order says strike on Shakeable. Academic staff Union of University on Monday dismissed resumption notice by university authorities directing students to appear for lectures amid a seven month strike. The organization said its strike remained unshakable as those institutions were still under lock and key. The vice president of ASU and its former branch chairman at the University of Georgia, Dr. Chris Binua, has said that this in an interview with The Punch. He was reacting to the announcement by Public Relations Office of Imo State University, Oweri Ralph Njoko, that had pulled out of the ASU nationwide strike and consequently asked his students and staff members to resume school on Tuesday, September 20th. According to him, IMSU had decided to pull out of the lingering strike in the interest of the students and staff of the institution. So on the news, uh, federal government may ban for more to revive the leather industry. The federal government is proposing a law to ban the consumption of animal skin, locally known as Pomo, to revive tanneries. The Director General Nigerian Institution of Leather and Science Technology, Zaria Mohamed Yakub, said this in Abuja. Yakub said the litigation was necessary to revive the comatose uh, leather industry. He said the habit of eating animal skin, which has no nutritional value, should be stopped to save the industry and boost the national economy. The Director General added that the Institute, in a collaboration with stakeholders, the industry will approach the National Assembly and state government to bring about litigation banning for more consumption. Thanks for joining us on the news update at 12 and Melody Chidema. Do enjoy the rest of the day. Life of people not only in United States, but also.
Fever in Taraba due to lack of specific dialysis machine. Proposed by the federal government to finance deficit in the 2021 budget by approval.